All right, look. Everyone comes to Zootopia thinking they can be anything they want. Well, you can't. You can only be what you are. Sly Fox, dumb bunny. You'll never be a real cop. You're a cute meter maid, though. Maybe a supervisor one day. You hang in there. I, uh, I may have sold him a very expensive wool rug that was made from the fur of a skunk's butt. Guys, I've been working for this my whole life. Sir, you said there are 14 missing mammal cases? So? Well, you probably forgot, but I was top of my class at the academy. Boom! 200 tickets before noon. And you, little guy, you want to be an elephant when you grow up? You be an elephant! Because this is Zootopia. Anyone can be any. Sir, I don't want to be a meter maid. I want to be a real cop. Actually, it's your word against yours. And if you want this pen, you're going to help me find this poor missing otter, or the only place you'll be selling popsicles is the prison cafeteria. It's called a hustle, sweetheart. She hustled you. She hustled you good. You're a cop now, Nick. You're going to need one of these. Have fun working with the fuzz. Start talking. I don't know where he is. I only saw where he went. Great, let's go. It's not exactly a place for a cute little bunny. Don't call me cute. Get in the car. Parking duty. Dismissed. Abandoning your post, inciting a scurry, reckless endangerment of rodents. But to be fair, you did stop a master criminal from stealing two dozen moldy onions. I will give you 48 hours. That's two days to find Emmett Otterton. But you strike out. You resign. Splendid. Clawhauser will give you the complete case file. As mayor of Zootopia, I am proud to announce that my Mammal Inclusion Initiative has produced its first Police Academy graduate, valedictorian of her class, ZPD's very first rabbit officer, Judy Hops. Assistant Mayor Bellwether, her badge. Oh, yes, right. Judy. It is my great privilege to officially assign you to the heart of Zootopia. Precinct 1, City Center. Bellwether, make room, will you? Okay, Officer Hops, let's see those teeth. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. I never get to do anything this important. But you're the assistant mayor of Zootopia. Oh, I'm more of a glorified secretary. I think Mayor Lionheart just wanted the sheep vote. But he did get me that nice mug. The Mammal Inclusion Initiative is really paying off. Mayor Lionheart is just going to be so jazz. Oh, no, no, no. Let's not tell the mayor just yet. And I sent it, and it is done, so I did do that. All right. Well, I'd say the case is in good hands. Us little guys really need to stick together, right? Sir, uh, if we could just review the... Oh, oh, sir! Oh, I'm so sorry. Sir! I heard you, Bellwether. Just take care of it, okay? And clear my afternoon. I'm going out. Oh, no, but sir, you, you have a meeting with herds and grazing. Sir! Um, oh! oh, oh, mutton chops. Excuse me. Uh, down here. Down here. Hi. O.M. Goodness! They really did hire a bunny! <laughs> you know, I gotta tell you, you're even cuter than I thought you'd be. That's, uh... Oh my, I am so sorry. I mean me, oh, Benjamin Clawhauser, the guy everyone thinks is just some flabby donut loving cop. Stereotyping you, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. No, there it went, <laughs> little dickens. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, bullpen's over there to the left. Great, thank you. Oh, little bunny's gonna get eaten alive. Mm. Officer Hops, the dispatch. Clawhauser, can you hear me? Because uh, oh, she's the greatest singer of our lifetime. She's an angel with horns and oh, oh, uh oh. oh hold on, look at this. Who's dancing next to her? <laughs> it's me! <laughs> it's not really me, it's just an app. But isn't it crazy how lifelike it looks? Look at that. Oh! <laughs> And you didn't die? Who's this guy? I've never had an uncle before. Come on, turn giant. I'm recording. But this is the coolest thing ever. Do your tentacles ooze poison? Ruby, Ruby, listen, the ocean triggers the transformation. But if you stay on dry land, you'll stay small and on two legs. You still think I was scared to fight? You think it was easy to start over, to risk everything? 
I never stopped fighting. I fight for my family. I fight for who I love. You, you just love to fight. She's just a kid, a sweet, naive kid. And now she's in trouble. You turn into a, a giant kraken. I know this is a lot to process, Ruby, but you're not alone, okay? I, I turn into a kraken too. I was already a little weird, <laughs> but this, I can't handle this. So I'm this, the horrible stereotype of a kraken you said humans made up. All this time you told me we were hiding from monsters and it turns out I'm the monster. I need to take control of my own life. You go, girl. I'm a kraken. I think I am having a panic attack. So as long as no one figures out it was you, we're safe. Your body is going through changes. Think of it as blossoming. Your body is a flower. Blossoming. Take the mythical, mighty, giant kraken. Bloodthirsty monster. Sinker of ships, drowner of sailors. Ha <laughs> ha, that's what you people think. You see, in real life, krakens are noble protectors. The sea will always need a kraken. A warrior queen, ultimate lordess, ruler of the seven seas, etc., etc. Now, talk to your grandmama. Tell me everything, Ruby. Was it horrible living among the hairy crust dwellers? I've got my eye on you, Gilman girl. And my other eye, too! Our tour begins where 15 years ago I came face to face with the monstrous giant Kraken! 15 years ago, you all laughed at me. Sorry, not you, Davy. You're right. You've always believed me. But now I finally have proof that Krakens exist! With your help, we will drag this abomination into the light and finally reveal what it truly is. <laughs> does squad solidarity mean nothing to you? Well, of course it does, which is why you should come with us. You'll be on a boat. You'll be completely safe. Unless there's a tragic accident. Bliss, no catastrophizing. Uh, what if you don't tell her? Gasp of exclamation. <gasps> Trevin's right. Your mom does not have to know. Oh, deception. I'm on board. Come on, Rubes, do it! There you are! Why'd you stop answering our text last night? I was worried that monster got to you. I carved us each a whistle out of juniper wood. Blowing it could give you precious seconds to abscond with your- Sick! Juniper wood has been known to have crack and defeating power. Oh, enough with the fondue! We eat a lot of cheese. Wheels of it. Guys, how many events have you missed in Squad Solidarity because of your mom's irrational anti-ocean rule? I guess a few? What? There was the field trip to the submarine museum, the school beach day, all county surf contest, the Grunion Fun Run, the Oceanside Festival of the Bard, my grandmother's beach birthday party, Kayla's beach birthday party, Squad Solidarity,